Hello, in this OpenGL video, we are going to look at fixing a Mac Retina issue. Actually, it's not just with Mac devices that have a Retina screen, it's also with devices, any sort of device that has a high density sort of screen with scaling in there. Because my iMac isn't a Retina iMac by default, but I've sort of hacked it so. It looks like a Retina iMac simply for recording videos because what you're seeing here is the number I want to say the number of pixels everything okay here's a better way to put it everything like these icons the text is the size that it would be if I were to set my resolution to 1280 by 720 but it's actually showing you the full native resolution aka 2560 by 1450 1440 which is twice the width and twice the height of 1280 by 720 so what happens is you get the look and the feel of 720p but you get the pixel density and the clarity of 1440p that has a little issue the problem lies I'll just demonstrate it okay so we run our application you might think this is looking fine but the reality is this shouldn't be there this should be in the center roughly this is how it should be. It readjusts when I move the window. So let me show you again. So if you've come across this issue where your objects are literally just appearing, it's in the bottom left. That's all they appear at. They don't appear anywhere else. If you were to draw a cube, for example, that was the size of the screen, only the bottom left would be filled. So this is an issue because when we're setting the viewport, we're setting it based on our width and height that we've set and I've put 640 by 480 but the reality is this is dealing in pixels and even though our screen is sh essentially showing 640 by 480 pixels it's actually rendering 1280 by 960 pixels it might be slightly less might be slightly more but regardless of what sort of scaling and density mode your device is using you will have a similar issue to this to get around it what you need to do is get actual pixel size in terms of your screen and you want to do that after you've set the screen size so you can get the appropriate values to do it, it's really simple all you do is int screen width screen height now do gl f w get frame buffer size specify the window window and now do ampersand screen width so this will set the value of our screen width to this variable same with screen height so what I'm going to do before I actually, what's wrong with this? Oh, forgot to put an ampersand there. So obviously we want to save it into these variables. So before I actually do anything else with it, I'm just going to print these out so you can see what they are. Ah. Screen width. I'm also going to actually put width now let's just print out the height just bear in mind look the screen width that we've set is 640 by 480 that's what we've used anywhere that we've used screen width so if we were to run this now, as you can see in the console it says 1280 by 960 because I'm on a Retina iMac or I'm essentially simulating a Retina iMac which is double the width and double the height but again whether it's quadruple the width, quadruple the height, 1.5 times whatever this will help fix the issue of it not rendering properly initially without you basically refreshing the viewport and now you simply use these values when you set the GL viewport so this way even though you, the actual screen will be spanning or the window will be spanning 1280 pixels because everything on your 
retina or your high density screen is spanning more pixels or using more pixels anyway you will still look as it should do aka 640 by 480 you don't need to do it for the orthographic projection you don't need to do it do it when you actually use the values when you actually let's say position something you would simply just use a screen with fun height the only time you use this updated frame buffer size is when you're setting the GL viewport and if we were to run this as you can see it looks like how it should do and if I move the window it doesn't do any dodgy update or refresh you might be thinking do you need to do some sort of check for a device that isn't retina or a high scale or density screen I don't know will be the correct term for it but no you don't because if you were to for example not have a retina iMac let's say you had a regular iMac set to a regular resolution it would just get the normal resolution and that would be a okay so for that we are all good to go so this is just a quick video on how to fix retina high density scaling issues with OpenGL FW if you have any questions feel free to post them on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question dot php there'll be a link in the description if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave a comment and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day